Noah Reisenfeld here, Asian Young Money, um, former IMG, and I'm former Montvert. So I know what you know what it takes to being an athlete, what it takes on the field, and what it takes off the field. You know, doing your career. Um, can you actually go into what you did at IMG? Because yeah. I honestly don't even know. Hundred percent. So you know, IMG was an incredible experience. Um, something that even though I did a lot there, I, I don't feel like I took full advantage of it. And uh, there were just so many resources, so many things that were provided to us as athletes that you don't find anywhere else, even at the big Division One schools, unless you're at a top, top tier SEC or Big Ten. And even then, sometimes you don't, you don't see it. So, you know, from a daily perspective, you know, there was a lot of things that we were doing from, you know, mental training to weight training um, to... You know different capacities of, of each and, and really getting into the complexity of mobility and stuff like that so uh, I gained a lot of knowledge while I was at IMG not just on baseball but sports world alone uh, developed a lot of relationships with high-level athletes there that uh, really transpired and, and kind of came over to this side of, of life of doing business and was really able to capitalize on those relationships by getting myself in rooms and, and putting myself in situations to grasp opportunities that were out there and uh, which you know have ultimately played a, a role in getting me to where I am today. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing that Montverde Academy and IMG are probably the top two, if not top five, you know, biggest high school powerhouses in sports, what actually clicked? Like what was that moment that clicked in your head that you knew like this life is sorry cut out for me, like I'm made for this? Yeah. No, I mean, there's been, I think, a good amount of moments um, that, that I've had that I've realized, you know, this is an industry that I really enjoy because it not only fills my life with purpose because I have a huge passion for helping athletes, but also people in general. Mm -hmm. um, but sports and, and doing it in this industry is something that aligns with my personality, my knowledge, and uh, there's a lot of things that come with, you know, being able to represent athletes. And so... For me, it's been a huge, a huge blessing uh, to be able to be in these th th these rooms in this position to help put guys in the right position to create generational wealth for themselves in the future and everything. And um, you know, we're only looking to you know grow and, and, and keep building. And we've brought on an amazing team in the past six months as far as the NIL goes, and um, that's where we're seeing a lot of success right now. And, and it's been great, you know, having that perspective of being in that environment at IMG and and playing baseball there, but building those relationships and then using those to, you know, kind of fuel um, what I'm doing now and, and leveraging those relationships. So I would hope that that kind of answers your question oh, on that. Oh, 100%. Definitely being fairly new to kind of even understanding or being close to this side of sports. You know a lot of people, but a lot of people might not know what you do behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I know from my perspective, you're always calling me and telling me you, or I got someone else for me to meet, you know, but something that I see is your work, work rate, work ethic, and the things that you actually do behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. You know, how fun is that for you knowing that the work that you're actually putting in behind the scenes is actually helping your athletes on the field and off the field? No, oh, I mean, I think that's a great question. You know, a lot of people, um, especially a lot of my athletes, I always tell them, especially my basketball players, uh, Kobe worked as hard as he did. Why aren't you working that hard, right? And I think the, the one thing that you can control in life is how hard you work. Um, there's a lot of things that are out of our control in today's world, especially. And so being able to um, you know, have that recognized is nice, but it's, it's the bare minimum to me, um, which is you know, working around the clock, being there for these guys, but also speaking of behind the scenes, you know, there's a lot of times where guys don't know that, you know, I'm up at three in the morning working on developing a relationship with a brand so that I can go and get them a brand deal in the future when the time is right. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of groundwork that goes into just being able to pull up and a contact and pick up the phone and call somebody and make something happen. For example, today, you know, just bringing on a guy last night from NC State and being in a position where I was able to contact Pete Thamel, who's one of the top ESPN reporters, and it led him to be able to go ahead and, and get a lot of traction off rip. So now I think a lot of the behind the scenes stuff is something that goes on unseen and um, something that's the bare minimum. You know, I always tell my guys, especially my basketball players, mm -hmm. 
you know, Kobe worked as hard as he did. Why aren't you working that hard? And so I think the one thing you can control, um, which is not a lot in this world, is how hard you work. And, you know, there's a lot that goes into being able to develop relationships that are the type of relationships to where you can pick up the phone in an instant and ask for a favor or ask for a deal or ask for, you know, a connection to be able to help, you know, further uh, your guy's ability to be in a good position as an athlete. And so I think for me, you know, one of the biggest things that I, you know, strive for is always being, you know, productive, whether it's I'm here on my phone making phone calls and just calling people to constant, you know, conversation and dialogue with people that, you know, are going to be in a position to help our guys when we need to pick up the phone and call them. So, you know, I think there's a lot of, of things that athletes don't understand that goes into our role. And I believe that we're 100% best at, at being in the position to help guys with anything they need because of the connections we have. So um, I, I feel like there's never a task that we're not able to complete and, and not able to complete swiftly. So 100% definitely think that there's a lot that, that goes unseen. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. No, appreciate it, boss. Thank you, Nash. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you.